Announcements for February 15th, 2023. Attention juniors, tutoring opportunities are available in our district. These hours can be used for senior projects. Please see your email Ms. Jones as soon as possible. Attention volunteers, St. John's Church in Manaka needs workers from February 16th to 19th for the Winter Carnival. This is a great way to complete your senior project hours. Please email Mrs. Jones for more information. Attention seniors, the CVPTA proudly announces our scholars for the 2023 senior class. This year we have two scholars to reward, first place 2,000, second place 1,000. The conditions of the scholarship are all enclosed on the guidance website under the scholarship tab. Please return to Jill DeWeese when completed. Deadline is April 3rd. Scholarship winners will be chosen prior to the senior award ceremony in May. Attention all new National Honor Society inductees, please check your email for an important announcement from Ms. Jones. That's all we have for your news today, CV. Now on to sports with Matt and Maya. Have a great day. I'm CV, I'm Maya. And I'm Matt with your sports for today. Tonight, Varsity Swim has a meet away at Riverside at 6 o'clock. That's all that we have for you today, CV. Have a good day. Hey CV, I'm Brady Hudson and I'm here with Antoine Johnson and we have a current news update for you. The U.S. military shot down what the U.S. officially calls a Chinese surveillance balloon off the coast of South Carolina this past Saturday. The balloon entered U.S. airspace over Idaho, which led to our Department of Defense confirming that the military was tracking this balloon as it flew over the continental U.S. as well as the Malstorm Air Force Base in Montana. This base is unique because the house is the 341st Missile Wing, which operates nuclear and continental ballistic missiles. Now, Chinese officials acknowledged that the balloon was theirs, but denied it was intended for spying or meant to enter the U.S. airspace. There have also been reports of two more Chinese air balloons traveling the world. Now, here are some clips highlighting this Chinese air balloon. We begin with that giant Chinese spy balloon that's riveted the nation these past few days. The U.S. military intercepted the balloon out in the Atlantic yesterday afternoon. And David Martin has the details. They just shot it. A single missile fired by a jet fighter. See the smoke coming from it? Ended the brief spectacular life of the Chinese balloon at 2.39 Saturday afternoon. It seems to be coming down. Carrying out an order President Biden issued to the Pentagon earlier in the week. They decided that the best time to do that was it got over water outside within our within 12 mile limit. Here it goes. The balloon went down six miles off the coast of South Carolina, spreading debris over a seven-mile area where Navy ships were waiting to pick up the pieces. It's going to be really interesting to, if, if we're able to recover this to see what they had on board. The former number two officer in the U.S. military, retired Admiral Sandy Winnefeld, is not sure why China would conduct such an in-your-face spy mission, violating American airspace in full view of anyone who looked up. I know that things are not necessarily always well coordinated. I would not be at all surprised if there's somebody uh, being taken to the woodshed in China right now. China has made no secret of its high altitude balloons and has sent them over U.S. territory before, but never like this. The balloon crossed over Alaska last weekend, rode the jet stream down to Montana where intercontinental ballistic missiles are based, and then across the entire United States. It was loaded with cameras and antennas and powered by solar panels. Shooting it down, even over sparsely populated areas, was considered too risky. Any potential debris field would be significant and potentially cause civilian injuries or deaths. 
uh, or significant property damage. The end game began as it neared the east coast and fighter jets started moving in for the kill. Now it lies in 47 feet of water waiting for investigators to put the pieces back together and solve the mystery of why China sent it here. The U.S. intelligence has concluded that the Chinese spy balloon is part of an extensive surveillance program operated by the Chinese military. We are not sure how our government will handle this, but we know it will be solved and will be protected. We hope you guys learned something new about important events going on in our country. Have a great day, CV. Good morning, CV. I'm Lana. And I'm Maya, here with your joke of the week. What kind of doctor is a Dr. Pepper? What kind? A physician. <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs>